Now, one of our favorite local bands, Beatenberg, have been riding the wave of success. And most recently, they were handpicked by Mumford & Sons as the only African act to perform at their international traveling festival, Gentlemen of the Road, in the UK this weekend. And they recent, or they certainly are about to make some serious waves overseas. And ahead of their performance, we've got bass player Ross Dawkin from Beatenberg joining us on the line to chat to us. Ross, thank you so, so much for chatting to us, man. This must be so, so exciting. But just take us through the process of how this all came about, how Mumford & Sons chose you to perform at this festival? So as far as I know, um, our management met uh, when in the UK earlier this year for a conference and uh, they pitched a bunch of artists um, to the Mumford & Sons management and we were the one that they chose. We're very lucky, we're very excited. I think very lucky, very excited because you guys have, have been working so extremely hard over the past year. So are, are you going to be doing anything uh, musically related while you're in the UK as well? We're only going to be doing two shows, one on the Friday and one on the Saturday at the Abbey Moore Gentlemen of the Road Festival, uh, Stopover Festival. Um, we're not doing anything else. We're trying to come back to get back to work on the on new material. Fantastic stuff. And you've, of course, been working very hard over the past year. So how are you taking all of the success in? And how would you describe the past year that you've had? Uh, I think a lot of what's been happening this year has been uh, sort of an offshoot from everything that happened last year, which was uh, predominantly the success with Pluto, the Hanging Gardens of Beatenberg, and Raphael. Um, so it's been all like a award show season and all that sort of stuff. So we've sort of been processing a lot of what happened last year. It kind of feels like 20, 2015 hasn't quite started yet. But we are, uh, I'm not quite sure how we're dealing with this, the success of that. I guess we're just trying to keep it chilled, keep it relaxed, get ready for new material. Um, we've been renovating the studio, um, which, we, which we own and run ourselves. Um, and that's very exciting because that's going to help us work on, on, on new material. And speaking of new material, what are you currently working on? We're currently working on uh, getting into the studio because we've spent the last two or three months renovating. We're trying to just get back into the studio for the next two months before South African summer season starts again so that we can get some, some new material up before the end of the year and hopefully a new album out in the next uh, six months to a year. So that's, the, that's what we're very excited about. Um, we've been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of gigs, uh, a lot of interviews, um, and uh, that's why we're very excited just to get back to making some music, making some new music. So we're very excited to just 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 to get back onto onto some new stuff. So thank you so much for having us. Dude, big pleasure, man, and not, not just a great stride for you guys as a band, but I think a great stride for the South African music industry. Thank you very much for joining us. Good luck for those performances ahead this weekend. Beatenberg, wow, can you believe that? The only African act chosen by Mumford & Sons to perform in the UK this weekend. Well done and congratulations to them. But right now, let's find out what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show with Zoe.